Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. Uh, they had no idea who I was working for. Uh, I wasn't about to tell them. Nothing worse than getting fingered by a gas station attendant. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about now any of my other activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, they are all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. <laughs> Got sentenced to a dime. Time to pay for my crime. What are you looking at? Huh? What are you guys? What's everyone looking at? Huh? Look at sweet assholes. ass. You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? Don't no speak it in English. Here, let me teach you. Enjoy this, you sick fuck! Now, get your ass up and get no, back please. in line. No! Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Oh. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it. Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long. You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you, we will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the Ladies. salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Oh, I promise. Hey, me too. I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. I mean, he's got a point. Just saying. OK, 
Okay, about let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. What a lovely commode. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. All right, Leo. I'm looking for Leo Galante. No idea. Quit bothering me. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will Hey, buddy. <laughs> what beat him. <laughs> uh, they don't seem too friendly. No chance to survive. Oh. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Sorry, no English. The war. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Don't ring a bell. Sorry. You teach me not to ask you. Me teach you Kung Fu. All right, uh, you got a deal, friendly. motherfucker. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? No good speaking to White Devil. You go away now. White Devil? I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Bobo in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard, so that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? Oh, it's go time. I'm gonna break you. Yeah, you and your boyfriend Barbara are dead. This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved the potato up your mother's ass. Oh, oh, burn. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Ah, oh, dick. Close it up. Drop the baton and so Neil almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something when you're inside. Counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be, 
boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. But from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. All right. Okay. Today we're going to work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. All right, Pepe. That a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Bring up Pepe. Nice kid, nice. Oh, Give me two more. Oh, All right, one more of you. Shit, that hurt. Got there it. you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, Rocky. that's enough for today. Nice work. Pow. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Uh, well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... Well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining. Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. All right. Come on. Yeah. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. They'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> Uh oh 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 there you go. Ah, Hagen Dazs. Oh yeah. What's that? What's up? What's up? 
让你当时他一就是个那样子，哎，快点退呀，快点退！哦哦。Boom! Get a bird cut with the foot. What's up? What's up? Tiger style, my ass. Uh oh. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. No, I should talk to me. Hey, listen, Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right, come with me, Vito. What are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galanti. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. The guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Roger Dodger. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Oh. oh meatballs getting ready to lose. <laughs> Threaten my grandma? Do it, my brother. Oh. Hey, if you don't lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. <laughs> Your little cracker goes <laughs> down. Come on, Vito. You gotta do better than that. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> Vito. Put these bums back in their place. <laughs> Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me harder than that. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a little cracker, huh? Rich is coming. I'm a rich. Tanned. Delicious. Little salty. And tastes extra good with cheese on me. Finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next one. Boom! Ding, ding, ding. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. <whistles> what the hell is this? What's Some what? kind of circle jerk? All right, huh? come what? on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Oh, who could this be? Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting <clears throat> married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. No. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito. No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not going to need it for a while. 
All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Not Mama. Let's go, Skeletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Now, yeah, those turlets, huh? Yeah, tell me about it. Scrub them with your head. You talk to me like that. There we go. This way. Alright. Ah, oh, boy. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, pal, you mind? Yo, practice that shit someplace else. Come on, man, you're killing us. Jesus, you're singing. It's the second worst thing There you go. In here. Make them sparkle. <sighs> hey, pipe down now. Alias! What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Yeah. Oh. Punch him in the back of his stupid head. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. Listen, Dick. Oh, All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the show. All right, Scaletta. Get, get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Let me get my clothes off. I'm not a floozy. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastard. Your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. Oh, I would love it. It's. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on, motherfucker. Only thing going in this prison while it is a shame. That, huh? Oh. 
two down. Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Where's Frank? I'm protecting my ass away. Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. died while Francesca was visiting me instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift every penny I had went to the funeral ah uh, no Mr. Galante wants to talk to you come with me is that right Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Uh, hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Yeah, we'll see about that, O'Neal. Come here, Mary! Again, huh? Nice hey. shot, Mary. I don't Thank think you. so. No guards to save you this time. No uh, guards to save ball. you. Me ma used to hit harder than that. Where's your mom? Is that all you got? Huh? Oh, I learned some new moves, O'Neal. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl. This time I'll finish you. I'm not gonna... Cheating bastard. Yeah, it's just a kid on you. Should just let me whoop your ass. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 nothing like that. You're 
young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, we'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Well, I'd quite appreciate that. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Oh. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. It's all different. We're in the 50s. Oh. Uh.